Welcome to the Maryland Mortgage Rate Weekly Mortgage Market Update for the week of March 24, 2014. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Primary Residential Mortgage. I'm going to give you an update. Well, last week was not good for mortgage rates. Um, mortgage bonds sold off big time. If you take a look at the bond chart, last Wednesday, big red candle down shows huge sell-off after the Fed Reserve released their policy statement. Now, Thursday and Friday, we were able to hammer out a level of support. So we are going to recommend cautiously floating your Maryland mortgage rate to start the week to see if we can bounce off this support after a huge sell-off, see if we can go a little rally back. So what happened to cause this giant sell-off in mortgage bonds after we've been doing pretty good? Well, the Federal Reserve released their policy statement, and again, they can continued their policy of tapering mortgage asset purchase program. They're purchasing currently $65 billion a month of treasuries and bonds. They've cut that back to, by $10 billion to $55 billion beginning in April. Their goal is to end this asset purchase program by the end of the year. So that's why we keep telling you mortgage rates are going to slowly climb throughout the year and end 2014 in the, mid, uh, in the low to mid 5% range. So just be aware of that. This is another indication of that. And the other thing that spooked the markets was the Federal Reserve took away their target rate of 6.5% for unemployment to raise the Fed funds rate, hitting they could raise it earlier. So that is not good for stocks and bonds. They both sold off. Um, then we also had the weekly initial jobless claims come out on Thursday, and that moved to slightly higher by 5,000 claims, up to 320,000 claims for the week. So we're in the low uh, 300,000. That's the lows we've seen back in November 2013. But we really need to get that number below 300,000 to see a meaningful recovery in the labor market. Uh, had a bunch of reports come out in housing. The first one I want to talk about is February 2014 housing um, existing home sales. Dropped 7.3% from last February at 4.6 million units, which is also a 0.4% decline from January. Um, the National Association of Realtors is citing the harsh winter weather for the drop in existing home sales. So as we move into spring and the weather gets better, we're going to have to see if those existing home sales move up. If not, then it's a bigger indication that there may be something slowing in the housing market. So we need to keep a lookout for that. Now tagging along with that, housing starts for February 2014 down as well. That's the third straight uh, month of dropping. It came out at 907,000 starts. That's a measure of how many new construction home builders started on in February. Now the Satchel Association of Home Builders market index came out at 47. Anything below 50 um, is showing that more builders have a poor outlook versus a positive outlook. So that's not great news there. But building permits did um, surge higher by 7.5% for February. So that's good news. That's an indication of future builds. So again, as we move into the spring market, hopefully that will pick up housing starts. Um, so we'll keep an eye out for that. In the local news, the next free first-time homebuyer summer is actually this Saturday in Towson, Maryland at the uh, Sheraton Baltimore North Hotel from 10 a.m. to noon. So that's March 29th. And then uh, the next one after that is April 5th. That is in Clinton, Maryland. And then April 12th will be in Rockville at the Marriott. You can register for either one of those seven or give us a call in the office, 410 412-3319 or online www.marylandhomebuyerseminars.com. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.